In this video, I'll show you guys how to use ChatGPT to learn any skill in the world. If you guys have watched any of my other content, you'll know that I think building skills is one of the most important things to do, especially if you want to level up your life and earn more money. And yeah, ChatGPT is an amazing tool. I've been using ChatGPT to learn a bunch of skills. And I'll tell you guys this, it's a game changer. So in this video, I'll go over different techniques and prompts you guys can use. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use ChatGPT to learn things on your own. So let's get started. All right, so I have ChatGPT pulled up right here. Here. And the first thing that I want to show you guys is you guys can basically use ChatGPT as a mentor. I know finding a mentor is very, very tough. And a lot of us don't have access to someone that can sit next to us and answer our questions. But good news, you guys, ChatGPT can literally do that for us. We can literally tell ChatGPT that they are an expert at whatever topic we want to learn. So for example, we can say something like you are an expert at copywriting, right? Let's say we want to learn how to do copywriting, which is a very, very good skill. And I want you to be my mentor. Cool. It says happy to help and now it can basically proceed to ask chat gpt pretty much any question we want for example what is the purpose of copywriting okay it's going to tell us its answer that's pretty cool and yeah i'm not going to get too in depth on this part since later on this video we'll cover a lot of different prompts and use cases and a lot of those topics and prompts can actually be applied using chat gpt as your mentor so that's why it's super important for you guys to watch this video all the way through but yeah with chat gpt there are no stupid questions you guys can literally ask it anything you want i know for me sometimes i really try and curate the questions I ask since I don't want to waste anyone's time. But with ChatGPT, you're not wasting anyone's time. It's literally just a program. And so you can literally just keep asking it more and more questions. I really encourage you guys to try this. And after watching this video, you'll know exactly the right questions to ask your new mentor. So the second way that I found ChatGPT to be extremely helpful is actually keeping me accountable. You guys know if you're trying to learn a new skill and you're not actually in school, there's no one looking over your shoulder and making sure you're doing assignments or giving you things to actually learn. So that's where ChatGPT comes in really, really handy. We are basically going to use ChatGPT as an accountability partner. And the first thing we're going to do is have it create a study schedule for us. For example, we can do something like this. All right, so we have, if I want to learn copywriting in two weeks and my goal is to be able to write great copy for my e-commerce business, can you design me a study schedule? What are the things I should learn if I have one hour per day, five days a week, and I want to learn as quickly as possible? So bam, now ChatGPT has created this schedule. We have week one. So each day of those five days, it's going to have a new thing for us to learn and then week two it's gonna do the same day six to day 10 every day is a new thing and of course this seems pretty basic and if you guys want to expand on any of these topics you can of course follow up with more and more questions but yeah this really breaks it down for us and gives us a good timeline to actually follow now of course if you don't actually follow this chat gpt is not going to like come after you or anything like that it's not going to know but what i recommend doing is just copy this you guys can do that by clicking on this it's going to copy it to your clipboard paste it somewhere print it out have it on your wall or something Thing, and then basically follow that schedule. You guys can of course customize this as you want, right? Two weeks is a pretty ambitious goal for learning something like copywriting. But let's say you want to learn French in two months and you have X hours per day. You can change all these variables and it's going to give you a customized study schedule. So another great and creative way to use ChatGPT to learn skills is to actually use it to help you summarize books and articles. A lot of people don't realize that ChatGPT has access to the web. And so we can basically paste in links or type in different books. And it's going to be able to use the internet to find that text or whatever it is and summarize it for you. So this can save you a lot of time. This can give you a lot of the key points. And while this is of course not as good as reading an entire book on a subject, it's going to cut down the time you spend by a lot. And you can take that time and actually apply it to real life use cases, which we will cover later on in this video. So let's say you want to learn a skill and that skill is to become rich. Well, there are tons and tons of books out there and articles that have been written by really, really successful people. And so basically what we can do is we can take one those books, for example, of Think and Grow Rich, and we can ask ChatGPT to summarize it. So what I'm going to do is type in this. All right, summarize the book, Think and Grow Rich. Give me an outline of the most important concepts. So it's gone through and created this little outline of this book. It gives us an intro of what it is. And here you guys can see it gives us 10 different concepts that are covered in this book. Before I read any book, I think it's really smart to do this because it's going to show you the concepts. And if there's anything in this list that you really want to dive deeper into, you guys can actually have ChatGPT give you more information information about that particular concept. For example, let's say I'm really intrigued by auto suggestion, right? Using positive affirmations and visualizations. What I can basically do is come down here and say, can you tell me more about auto 
suggestion. So ChatGPT is going to give us a whole summary on what other suggestion is. This is far more detailed than what was given in this little outline. And this is a great way to take different parts of books that you are really intrigued by and really break them down and give you more detail. The same thing applies with websites, right? So let's say I want to learn how to meditate and I go and find an article on Google and the article is pretty long. I don't want to read all of it and I want it to summarize it for me. So this is what I'm going to say. Of course, you can write whatever you want here and ask for specific things, but let's go with that. I'll click enter and ChatGPT is going to be able to access that website and it's going to give us this summary of it. So that's really, really cool. It allows you to go through books and articles a lot faster. And I personally have found this super helpful over the last couple of months. All right, the next way you guys can learn skills from ChatGPT is to actually have it test you. So yes, ChatGPT can sort of administer different exams and tests for you. I know that doesn't sound fun, but testing is a great way for you to actually practice and retain different skills and knowledge. So let's say you're trying to learn French. What I'm going to do is say, you're my French teacher. Can you test me on some common phrases I should know? All right. So in this case, it actually gave us some common phrases for us to use and learn. And then it's actually going to test us on these phrases. So we can go ahead and respond to this. So I can say, well, let's see if that's correct. Awesome. We can do number two. This means thank you. All right, so in this case, it doesn't look like it remembered what we had above, but you guys sort of get the point. I can actually have it do something like this. Okay, you're my French teacher. Test me on common phrases I should know. Ask me a question and I'll give you an answer. Then you give me a response. And after that, ask me another question. Let's do this five times. All right, so now it's gonna give us our first question. How would I respond to this in French? Now it's gonna ask us our second question. Awesome, and you guys sort of get the point. Instead of going out and finding a study partner and having them you know, use up some of their time to test you, you guys can literally use ChatGPT for the exact same purpose, which is just absolutely crazy. So get creative with this. You guys can see this prompt was pretty in depth. You guys can do something similar. Be very specific in your prompt with chat GPT. It's going to be able to follow directions quite well. And you can basically simulate tests like this. So the next way we can use chat GPT to learn skills is to actually have it suggest different resources that we can learn from. Chat GPT has access to the internet. It knows exactly all the different places you guys can learn. And the great thing is that we can actually give it specific prompts and directions on how we like to learn things like that. So in this case, I want to learn how to speak French. I'm a visual learner and prefer to watch videos. Can you give me five resources I can use to help me learn? Just type enter. So that's really cool. It gave us five different resources, all visual learning methods that we can use to learn French. And let's say, for example, I want to find five different YouTube videos that I want to watch. And again, as long as you guys create a new chat, it's going to sort of remember the exact conversation you had within that chat. So I do recommend doing that. So we can basically say, can you give me five YouTube videos I should watch? And it's going to know that I want five YouTube videos about learning French, since that is what we talked about right before. So it's given us five different videos. We can basically copy this, go to YouTube, and the video is going to pop up. While ChatGPT is amazing at giving you text information, helping you learn, if you are a more visual learner or you prefer learning in other ways, then it can always point you in the right direction. It can give you the exact resources or programs to learn learn from. If you're a more text-based learner, of course, you can learn through ChatGPT. But something I really recommend you guys do is find a forum. I'm a huge fan of forums. I've spent you know thousands of hours learning on different forums. And I think it's another amazing resource to learn different skills. For example, I learned a lot of photography just by reading the forums. I used to spend maybe two to three hours per day on certain photography forums, and that really helped build my foundation for that skill. So for example, can you suggest three forums I can learn French from? And it's going to give us this, right? For example, Reddit's French form. That's a great place to learn French. ChatGPT really opens doors and gives us tons of great ideas and really expands our catalog of learning materials. So I highly, highly suggest using this type of prompt on ChatGPT. Now, when you're learning a skill, there's two different ways to learn. And I really want to differentiate these because a lot of people mix them up and they don't realize how important the latter one is. So the first is actually the learning part where you learn by reading text, watching videos, stuff like that. The second part is actually the practical applications of what you've learned. And this is really what makes you remember things and allows you to use that skill in the real world, which I think is the most important part. So what you want to do is you want to learn the information in the morning and then actually apply it in the afternoon. And the way that we can use chat GPT to facilitate this is by asking it what practical uses for the skill we can actually practice with. For example, let's do this. All right. So I'm learning Python and I'm a beginner. What exercises or projects can I work on that will help me build my skills? Give me three simple ones. I can start today. Cool. So now it's giving me three different projects 
projects that I can work on. Guess the number game, Mad Libs, and Calculator. Basically what I can do is I can go and code these things. And by coding these three simple projects, it's really going to help me practice different concepts that are important for learning Python. This is probably the most important part of learning any skill that I think not a lot of people talk about. And so when you have a tool like ChatGPT tell you exactly what types of examples or projects or things you guys can do in the real world to actually work on the skill, that you guys is amazing. It's one of the most important parts of learning any skill. And yes, this applies to any other concept, not just programming. So for any skill that you are trying to learn, ask ChatGPT, what projects can I personally work on that will help me develop my skills? And then lastly is asking ChatGPT for ways that you will fail at doing something. When you have a mentor like ChatGPT, I think a lot of people will just go straight into how do I do this? What's the best way to do this? How would you go about doing this? And yes, those are all great things to ask, but they are actually missing out on another type of question, which can actually be instrumental in helping you learn. And that is asking for the ways that you can fail. For example, let's check this out. All right, so I wanna learn portrait photography. In what ways will I fail? That's the big concept. Please tell me common things that people do wrong when learning the skill. So I've been a photographer for many years. I'm gonna sort of read through this and see if it makes sense. Lack of understanding of lighting. This is huge. Lighting is pretty much everything. Poor composition. Position. This is another really, really big one. Ignoring these subjects' emotions. That's also huge, right? With portraits, it's all about capturing certain emotions. And a lot of photographers, they really care about, you know, what lens they use, what camera, all that stuff. But they fail to realize that capturing the right emotions is really going to make that client love that photo. But yeah, I'm not going to get into this too much. I know you guys probably don't care about this, but I really want to emphasize this, right? Ask ChatGPT, in what ways will I fail? what common mistakes will I make in learning the skill? This is gonna save you so much time and it's a very important aspect of skill learning. So that's basically how you can use ChatGPT to learn any skill in the world. If you're watching this video, then you probably already really prioritize learning skills. You're already on the educational side of YouTube, meaning you're trying to learn things. And yeah, I just really wanna encourage you guys to build as many skills as you can. It's so fun, it's going to level up your life and the more skills you have, the better your foundation, which means if you wanna start any business or get a raise, or get a better job, it's gonna be a lot easier. Plus, I think it's self-fulfilling to know how to do different things. And so yeah, I really hope you can take a lot of action after watching this video. Go ahead and go to ChatGPT, create your account if you don't already have one, and start using the prompts we talked about in this video to really boost your learning. If you're a complete beginner and you want to learn more about how to use ChatGPT for everything, we'll link below my free tutorial. And then if you guys got some value from this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content just like this. I make a ton of videos about entrepreneurship, personal finance, and investing. And my whole goal is to help you guys become financially successful. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.